You can build an AI-powered Chrome extension in literally minutes without any coding whatsoever. For instance, I built this one in less than an hour that all you ever have to do if you get any YouTube video is you come down, you hit the summarize button, confetti drops, and we'll get a full overview of what this video is about so we don't even have to listen to it. Right there, you see this video delves into Mr. Beast hiring a blah, 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 and gives you full breakdown with emojis and snaps that you can just grab. Now, this was just one idea that I thought, but you can literally use, guys, these AI-powered um, Chrome extensions to do anything that you want to, and show exactly how you build that step-by-step -step in this video. I'm Jack, and my YouTube channel, and my school community, we're about three things. We are about the latest AI. We're about incredible automations. But most importantly, guys, we're about the stuff that actually works. So you haven't already, grab that coffee and let's dive straight in. Okay, so starting with what is a Chrome extension. Chrome extension, as you might have guessed, is using Chrome and some of the browsers. You click on the dots in the top right, you're gonna come down, look at extensions and just click on manage extensions. Now, previously we thought this was difficult to get, actually super straightforward. We're gonna use Claude or ChatGPT to create the code for us. And all we're gonna do essentially is to upload it to Chrome, save it, and then enable it, and then essentially whatever use case you want, whether you want to summarize videos, you want to use AI to create tweets from videos or whatever you want, it will do that for you automatically on autopilot in the background. And we're going to connect this to make.com via webhooks, which is a really straightforward, easy thing to do. And the fact that we can get any data from your browsing experience into make is literally insane. Because once we get it in make, guys, we can do anything we want. We can access CRMs, we can use AI to you know, basically present any information in live time for us on the Chrome extension. So what's really, really cool about this as well, guys, is that you can do literally anything with Chrome extensions. So you could replace all the words on a page. You could get things fact checked by using perplexity, millions of different things. Now to get this automation running, you only need three things. One is you want an account at make.com. You can get up to a thousand executions for free. I'll put a link down below so you can jump in and get started. It's modular, really easy to use, and it's how we're able to do this incredible stuff. The second thing that you need is access to ChatGPT, or at platform.openai.com. And essentially that enables you to use ChatGPT via an API, really straightforward. I'll put the link down below so you can use that. And let JSON file, upload it, and then have the whole thing populate. It'll be available down below in the school community so you can use this one yourself and start summarizing videos and get all the blueprints for the stuff that is and is not on the channel. Awesome. So how do we get started then? So we're gonna run through this step by step. So the first thing we really wanna do when building this is to head over to ChatGPT like so. And essentially, we're going to give it a prompt that looks like this. It's going to say, hey, I would like you to develop a Chrome extension that does the following, okay? And essentially, what we say to it, number one, we say, hey, it will have a button on YouTube that says summarize. Number two, when this button is clicked, you must send the transcript to this webhook. Now, what do we do, guys? Well, we basically need to get the webhook in Make. So we come back over to Make, we click on this, and we just type in webhook like so, and type on custom webhook like so, and then we'll give this a new one, and we'll call this one, let's call this one YouTube Summarize. Call this one Build Together, shall we? Build T. And what emoji should we use? Yes, you for diamonds for value. Following enough, one of my clients said to me, Jack, I'd love a button that could just summarize a YouTube video. And I'm like, I know just a thing for that. And now here I am sharing the wonderful brilliance of this cool little Chrome extension online. So look, now we've got this cool thing here, which is like the URL. So all you do is copy the address of clipboard. And then you can see it's going to try to determine the data structure. So we'll come back to that in a second. Don't worry. It's actually quite straightforward. Boom. There we go. Awesome. Now, what else do we want this to do? We want, we want a text box to be coded on the page so that when the um, webhook responds with a summary, it will appear on the page for us. Number four is going to be add a waiting emoji whilst the operation is running. And I should probably give it a little bit of context actually first. So I'll just say context. Uh, we are creating a Chrome extension that will summarize any video, the specifics. Okay. 
And then finally, guys, what we can also do, and I always recommend when you're using AI to build apps or web apps, is to give it screenshots of what's cool. So you see here, for example, what I'm going to do literally here is I'm gonna screenshot this video summary come down. Now guys, you can improve the CSS, you could have the summarize button anywhere you want to. You could have it to cover the whole video. You could do anything. It's literally just saying, hey, I want this, I want that. So we click on options, click on clipboard, and then we'll come back over now to this and just say, here is an example. Here is a functional version. Just copy this. And then guys, what we're gonna say is paste all of the code in full. Thank you. And then we hit that magical button, also known as enter. Now, what will happen here is we need to create a desktop folder on the homepage. So on our, on our sort of like our desktop. And essentially, we're gonna create a couple of different files. And then we're just gonna save the text in these files, like JSONs and different things like that. And then we upload all of that together into Chrome. And that's probably about the most <laughs> complicated it gets. So this is asking for code, so say, hey, please create the code for the extension. And now ChatGPT will do its wonderful magic in the background and create all the code for us down there. Cool, so basically these are the five things that we're gonna need uh, to create this thing, six things in fact. So look, what do we do? We go to the homepage, Finder, we go Desktop. Now check this out, okay? The first thing we do is click on right, uh, click on New Folder, and we're gonna give this one a name. Let's call this one YouTube Summarizer, okay? So YouTube summarizer and of course we'll leave emoji out because we'll keep this one quite plain then we click into it okay and essentially all these files we create are going to pop in there so for example the one that you saw me use is just this stuff now it looks complicated guys it's actually really really straightforward so what do we do if you're on mac this is the application that i recommend you using it's called text edit you can find it in your applications but look if i click on text edit i click on open you'll see now i have this is an example of what I made earlier in content and JavaScript. So we're gonna get rid of that. I'm gonna create a brand new text edit. So to do that, we come down to new document on the right hand side like so, and you'll see this. And then what do we do guys? So we start off then with manifest, manifest.json. We copy the code, we come over, we paste the code. And crucially guys, come over to format like so, text, make plain text. And then what you're gonna do is click on file, you're gonna click on save. I'm gonna call this guy uh, let me just double check. We're calling this manifest.json. Cool. So come down here, save manifest.json. And we're going to save that on desktop for the moment and then click save like so. And click on use JSON. Yes. I should also guys, if you're on window, I just wanted to check this one for you. Notepad is a really good alternative. You can't build this in Word because it needs to be kind of like plain text. So if you've got Windows, use Notepad or something similar. And if Mac, I'd use text edit. But there's other tools, but I just think they're easy and simple to get started with. So we've done manifest.json. And now what we need to do is background.js. So we copy this code, we do the same thing, text edit, come down to new document, we paste the code, we come to format, make plain text, bring this over here, and we'll call this background.js. It's really important that you get the name right because they are referential. Okay, background.js. Again, save it to the desktop, click save. Beautiful, that's that one down. And then we've got here content.js. You might have guessed it, we copy the code, we come down and click on new document, paste it, format, make plain text, file, save as content.js, like so. Beautiful, that's three down, just a couple more to go now. Then we've got popup.html, which is quite decent. Again, text edit, come down. New document, paste that in there. Once again, view is going to be make plain text. And we'll call this one popup.html. Cool, sweet. And it's funny actually, because you kind of think this is a lot more complicated than it is until you know how. And you realize actually it's really, really, really straightforward. Um, popup.javascript, right click on this, new document. Okay, again, pop this one in, bring this one over here, format, make plain text. And then let's save this guy here. And this pop up the job is straight. And I say easy. I mean, obviously, like if you're doing this, you're not normal. I mean, not normal in a great sense, in the sense that you are like the one percent of the one percent, because barely anybody knows how to do this. Um, so this is pretty much cutting edge. Because essentially, what it allows you to do is stuff that, and it's just stuff that you previously couldn't do unless you really know how to code. But we can just use AI for that now, which is just phenomenal. So again, view, come to format, make plain text. Always click on the make plain text thing. And then we just get, we basically save it as the thing that's there. So 
styles.css and it's got to be to the letter the same thing. Remember, make sure that you do that. Yes, use.css, save to home page. Beautiful, excellent. And then now we need to create an icon, uh, which is gonna be basically visually what we call it. So we head over to Canva for that. Now this doesn't really matter guys. I mean like, let's just say for example, I wanna use this or let's just use something, I don't know. Let's just use the crown and just bring this guy up here like so. Beautiful, I should make it like orange, something recognizable. Okay, beautiful, come here. And let's go for big, beautiful, multicolored. Yeah, that's cool. It'd be, it'd be easy to recognize, right? Click on download, like so. Make it as small as humanly possible and then download, which is cool. Excellent, I'm gonna call this one icon.png. And so then guys, your desktop should look something like this. So now what we do is we copy these guys, like so. I'm going to pull it into YouTube Summarizer and that's it. Now the next thing we do guys is we're going to come over to Chrome. What I'm going to need to do actually is turn mine off. So I've turned mine off. I've done that because we can't, couldn't have, pop. oh my goodness, we can't have two um, Chrome extensions doing the same thing. So what do we do? All we do guys, okay, is you may not have developer mode enabled. If you do, just come to the top right, click on developer mode and you come down here and you're going to put load unpacked and then come to your desktop and basically just click on YouTube Summarizer and then click select. And there we go, fail to load extension, could not load icon 16, pop PNG. So what do we do? If we get any code like that, just come back over now to ChatGPT and give it the data. I'm just showing you for the purpose of this one, how you would troubleshoot anything so you get used to the process. So this has happened because it's, it wanted an icon 16, 48, 128. So all we're gonna do is just basically update the manifest of JSON file. One of the things that you'll find is that like, when it's so again right click on this and when it come down to open with and text edit is it like yeah like if if one says zig and you dare to zag you're done you're basically done so you can see that the icons it lists it all there but it's not there so boom come down simplify it awesome click file click save come off oftentimes you probably reference something that you shouldn't have done and that's why it's not working so we come back to chrome we come back and then we click on load and pack one more time come to desktop and click on YouTube Summarizer and load that in. Extension loaded. And can you see it there? Look at this, guys. I can see that beautiful little blue button. And then I'm going to click on Details. I'm going to come down. And then what we're going to do is just pin this to the toolbar. So you can see we have the wire there popping up, which is awesome. And I'm pretty happy with that. I'm going to come off this. I'm going to go to YouTube. I'm going to mute site just so we don't have to keep listening to the start of the video. And then we basically refresh the page like so. And let's see if it pops up. So, has it popped up? No, it hasn't. So let's go over to extensions and see what happens. What is also really cool, guys, is you'll get like an error log when this sort of stuff happens. So, it's perfectly normal if you don't see it the first time. Basically, what we need to do is we come back over now to ChatGPT and we say, hey, the uh, app is uploaded. However, I cannot see the app on the button on the page please fix this. I'm just gonna share with it the previous code that we had, just so it knows exactly what it needs to do. But essentially the way that it works is you'll say, hey, you'll try it, it's not visible. Hey, I'm not seeing it, try this, try this. And you'll troubleshoot over two or three iterations and then once that's done, you'll get it working and visible. So that'll save just out of respect for your time, a little bit of back and forth. And then guys, it starts to produce the revised content of JavaScript for us. So then we just, again, simply update this. And you'll know from the last video, guys, Essentially, it's like this when you're building any AI web app or even Chrome extension now. We go back and forth and you can kind of just amend it and get the CSS to a point where you're like, I'd love it to do this, I'd love it to do that. But I think fundamentally, we're only really limited by our imagination when it comes to this. I mean, the reason I think this is so cool is because it adds a literal new dimension to how you use AI. I don't have to open a new tab and post something into ChatGPT. I can use it on the tab that I'm actually using right now. So it just makes the browsing experience so much cooler. You don't like the word the, it's gone, it's out of here. You don't like the word coffee, we'll replace with coffee with anything you want. It's literally that awesome. Now sometimes you'll get this prompt about continuing generating because the code is a little bit longer, which is fine, so just be aware of that. So we come to the top, we copy the code, we go to our finder, we go to YouTube Summarizer. Again, we open content.js. Sometimes it'll do that, so you have to come and right click and then let's just bring this guy over here. We're gonna right click, open with text edit. Awesome, okay. Control all and then paste and then come up the top, then file, then save. Now also here's the other really cool thing you can do, right guys, check this out. Now, 
all you need to do is instead of deleting and uploading again, you can just hit this, basically this button here, which will then just bring everything back up. So look, I click on that, incredible. Now I come back over to this video and we'll refresh it. And if it's done its job properly, we should see this. Let's just refresh the page. Oh my goodness, guys. Does that look familiar to you? It should do. I think that's really cool that we've got that there. How epic is that? Cool, so what do we do now? Basically, now we know that we've got the summarize, we need to make sure that it's pulling the transcript effectively. So let's get over now to make uh, and find out what's going on. So this is our initial one, okay? Now it's waiting for the data. So let's come back over. Let's hit this button. We've got the confetti that came down. I love confetti, by the way. I don't know if you noticed this. I'm a confetti guy, man. I love the confetti. So confetti is done. The question will be, oh my gosh, guys, look at this video summary has been accepted. I love how it's like, I gave it that, I gave it that photo and it's like, it completely gets what it needs to look like. And dude, can you see, by the way, it's got this like animation here, how it's moving like left to right. Like how sick is that? Like that is so, so sick. That's like the coolest thing ever. Dude, it does not take many animations to get Jack Roberts pumped. So I come back over. Now look, let's see if it's gone. It hasn't actually pulled that through yet, which is a little bit of a strange one. So what we then need to do is make sure we copy just a clipboard. We come back over now to ChatGPT and we're gonna say something like, hey, looks amazing. However, um, however, it is not pulling through. It is not sending the information to the web hook. It should expect a response back. Incredible. So ChatGPT has finished. So what do we do, guys? We're going to come up to the top of the code like so. And we're going to copy it as always. We're going to go back over now to find them. We're going to content JS, right click, open with text edit. Come over here, get rid of it, paste this in, click file, click save. And then we're back on Chrome. We'll just hit refresh again, which is awesome. Come back over and let's refresh the page and see if it's appeared. And almost by magic, guys, we see the summarize button has appeared once again. So look, what do we do? Well, let's just make sure that in our chat GPT module that this is loading. It is. So if we come back over now and I click on summarize, excellent. Let's have it. Ah, let's see. Error sending transcript on expected token A accepted is not valid JSON. Check console for details, but has this picked it up? It has. So let's just run this again one more time. So what's happened this webhook is it said, look, look, we've got code here that says when you hit summarize, it's taking the transcript and we're sending it to make.com and it's doing that through a webhook. Now this is the webhook that we're catching the data with. So essentially this is the thing that's going to get the data from the web page. So if I come back over and I say, look, summarize this again. Awesome. Forget the message for a moment. I come back over. The question will be, can I see the transcript here? If I click on transcript and guys, look at this, the entire transcript now in make. That's insane. What does that mean? It means I can do whatever I want with the YouTube videos now. If I have my own YouTube video and I say, look, I want you to make 50 tweets from this in my own style. I could be on a video and I could say, boom, I grab the transcript, I pull it back, I run it through a social media engine and I create tweets purely at my perusal. I'm like, yeah, I'm looking here. Yeah, tweetify that, summarize that. I can create multiple buttons to do multiple things with multiple web hooks. Like think of the potential. It's unbelievable. So the next thing we want to do, and I'm going to look at the error message in a second, but guys, we want to create an ad of chat GPT now to kind of summarize that message and to put it into some like, you know, some easy to digest um, text. So click on add another module. Now, from my perspective, this is what makes AI web apps, AI Chrome extensions incredible because what it enables us to do when we add AI to the equation is essentially anything. Um, it, 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 I just cannot explain how profoundly powerful I think this is. So look, come over to model and for GPT-4.0. And then we've got add a message and click on use it all. Let me show you the prompt that I used before, okay? So let me just run you through what that looks like. Okay, so look, here we go. Let me scroll down a little bit here. Summarize this YouTube transcript in 80 words or less. After the summary, create a list of key takeaways with each item starting with an emoji. Format the summary and list with one line breaks so that the summary is separated from the list. The summary is on its own and separate. So basically, I give it some different prompts about how I want the format to look. And then I say, I give it an example, and obviously always a prompting guys, try your best to give it a positive example. And if the prompts aren't working, give it a negative example. So it knows what good looks like and what negative looks like. Typically three, if you're struggling. And we have a little bit of a description. 
a little bit more of a description, and then emoji and text. Now, please use the format with the following transcript. And then we just give it the transcript. So again, come back over now to YouTube Summarizer, message content, uh, basically paste your prompts. So I'm showing you how to do this with like a YouTube Summarizer thing, but in reality, whatever the thing is that you want to do, just enter the problem. Now, I challenge you to have fun with it. Let me know down below how you get on with that, okay? Now, I come into transcript. I delete that, and I just put this transcript in, okay? Awesome. And I click OK. And is that going to let me click OK? For some reason, guys, max tokens, just put zero, so it defaults to the max. And obviously, guys, you know this. We're nothing without our formalities. So we're going to rename this one to Summarizer with, let's just do a little bit of diamonds. Incredible. Okay, ace. And then finally, guys, what I want you to do is click on this. Webhooks, webhook, response. And in the body, I just want you to put the result from Summarizer and then click OK. All right. Now look at this. I'm going to run this once, like so. I'm going to head back over now to the YouTube module. I'm going to click on Summarize. If I come back over now to my prompt, let's have a look at what the module did. Look at this. This video does blah, 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 blah. Mr. Beast, da, 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 and all this sort of stuff. Status 200 means successful. But we've got a problem, right? The problem is that it's sending the data, but it's not bringing it back. So let's do this one more time and let's find out what the error message is. This is cool. It's falling to the ground. There we go. So what we're going to do is we're going to copy this. You might guess what happens next. We head back over now to ChatGPT. Everything is working well. Um, however, we are getting this error message. And we are not seeing the window with the summary. When I say this genuinely, guys, I, I built this stuff. I absolutely love this. Stuff. I love pushing the envelope with this stuff. And I have to give a shout out to a guy called Kevin in my community. Now, Kevin actually came and said, dude, I built a Chrome extension with this stuff. And I'm like, bro, that is amazing. And I was like, he, so he's the inspiration for this video. So I want to shout out Kevin. I want to say thanks, bro. Like, it's just so, that's the cool thing about having a community with this stuff, because you really just get like people just you'll have an idea and someone else have an idea and then everyone builds on each other's ideas and this is something that i would physically use because like who has time sometimes to listen to a 500 hour video on some random stuff do you know what i mean sometimes like you just want to know if it's worth reading or not so maybe youtube's not going to like this because their watch time might go down we may literally change the face of youtube with this guys can you believe that youtube may never be the same again after this all right as we come on here we click on save shut that down head over to chrome head over to extensions click on the refresh come over here let's refresh the page i'm hoping the summarize point hasn't disappeared it hasn't that's cool let's come over now to chat gpt and let's click on running this one here all right cool and then let's just pin this one as it's out of the way cool we come back over then let's click on summarize the confetti falls no error message and are we going to get the actual thing yes we did i'm going to give this an even step further than that and what i'm going to do beyond that because you know guys just automation isn't enough i want to take it a step further is i'm going to search for i'm going to unlink these i'm going to come here i'm going to find perplexity perplexity ai is basically going to enable us to search the internet so what i'm going to do i'm going to come here i'm going to connect these guys i'm going to click on this guy i'm going to click on the biggest online model that's there which it seems to be i believe this one should be fine Okay, excellent. Max tokens, I'm just gonna put at 4,000. Uh, temperature, don't worry about that message. And I'm gonna say content, I'm gonna say, hey, find me three URLs for further reading on this topic. Ensure that it is the latest available information incredible must be recent include no other further information the research topic and then i'm just going to give it the result and i put the role as user and i'm going to click okay and then all in the webhook response guys the good body and i'm going to say hey further research come down and I'm just going to give it the output from perplexity to so come down to message, come down to content. And so guys, the final test now is to see if this AI powered research bit works. I'm on the all in podcast today, guys. This one is an hour and 44 minutes. So say we say, dude, I don't know if I want to watch that. So what happens? We come over, we've got our entire thing running in the background now. again, but when you do it, you just have this running permanently. 
I come back over and what do I do guys? I say, hey, summarize the video. The confetti falls from the top. I'm wondering what's happening here and are we gonna get any information? And we'll give it a second. We've got the actual thing loading, which is awesome. And guys, look at this. This transcript feature members of all in podcasts humorously discussing personal anecdotes, their reactions to current events and economic concerns. They share opinions on COVID-19, measures, market fluctuations and geopolitical issues. A focus is on blah, blah, blah. This is crazy. How shared human stories, Yen carried out a trade global impact, Go Google's monopoly in search, debates on VP picks and election strategies. Guys, this is absolutely insane. And then guys at the bottom, we've got further research. So you can build up those prompts and perplexity to make them like super powered. You can do like anything you want. Now we can use AI research based on that. I hope you can see like the potential for this is like way up here. It is ridiculous. In case guys, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Have a wonderful weekend and I'll see you in the next video.